Looks like spring for many here in East Tennessee. You can find Bradford pear trees planted all over the region. I had one in my front yard at my first house in Fountain City that gave me a world of problems, but it was yeah. so pretty. I didn't want to bring it down. Anyway, they're pretty. They have pretty white flowers, but they're actually an invasive species. Yeah, horticulturalists say the trees also have poor structure. They fall easily and need a lot of pruning. Experts say if you're thinking of planting as the weather warms up, you should actually avoid Bradford pears. You're doing our environment a favor. If you've got one that's still hanging on to go ahead and get rid of it and replace it with a better tree that's going to be there long term and has a lot more attributes for your landscape and the environment. Vandergriff encourages anyone with a Bradford pear in their yard to get it out mm. and get a tree better for the ecosystem. Hmm. Interesting. But okay. it's really pretty. It pretty. It's hard to get it out because I really think they're beautiful. Well, especially if you have a big one that's been there for a long time. Yeah. But. It during severe weather, they just implode. Yeah, yeah it's they not really good. Do. They no. come down. That was the big thing. Yeah. In, in my one in Fountain City. You remember my little house in Fountain oh, City? Yeah, your my first house. house. Yeah. Anyway, it was this big tree. I'm sorry, I'm just talking and talking. Keep going. It was this big tree, and they were like, you got to take that down or it's going to fall into your house. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, I mean, any wind event. And so I ended up getting a Cleveland Select, thanks to Neil Denton, and I planted that because that is actually similar to a Bradford pear, but it actually withstands the weather elements, unlike the Bradford pear. It turned into a giant stick, though. It never worked out. I don't really have a green thumb at all, if you know my history with, uh, <laughs> with weather. Well, not weather uh, planting. Anyways, morning, rain, afternoon, thunderstorm.